today thanks to the excavation work of Evans. We can project what this incredible palace actually looked like. It was a great maze that on the outside featured an intricate interlocking series of stepped terraces. Unlike the Egyptians, whose people lived in mud huts, while mammoth constructions like the pyramids were erected to honor the afterlife, here was a people who created huge and grandiose structures not for celebrating death, but for living life with joy. The heart of Minoan life, the gathering place for amusement, the place where the events with the bulls were held, was this courtyard. High above, looking down upon all the pageantry, were the royal apartments. The central courtyard contained both the rooms reserved for the royal family and enough outdoor space for the festivals of the citizens of Knossos. It was a democratic setup that allowed the different social classes to mix more readily. The center of Minoan power, the throne room, also looked out onto the courtyard. What is amazing is that the throne room of this ancient city is still intact today, and Minos' original throne is still in its place. This throne, in all its symbolic power, has been copied and now seats the president of the International Court of The Hague. This homage to the Minoan civilization came about thanks to the work of archaeologists who debunked the Greek myth of the Minotaur and restored to Minos his rightful fame as a fair and just king. <laughs>